I want to make this clear today that it was the Amar Jurisa the North who acted against Obi, according to Asari Dokubo. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. A recent statement addressing the results of the presidential election was made by Asari Dokubo, a well-known politician from a major ethnic group in Nigeria. On his Facebook page, according to sources, he said that God had discredited a particular group of people who were opposed to Ahmed Bola Tanembo's triumph. Asari did not elaborate on the identities or circumstances surrounding these individuals. A number of candidates competed in a very competitive Nigerian presidential election, which was held in February 2023. And the f former governor of Lagos State and member of the ruling party, Ahmed Bola Tanembo, ran for office in the election. He is a well-known in Nigerian politics. In his statement, he said, and I quote, I want to make this clear today that it was the Amadris in the North who acted against P2B because they know that if he becomes the president, it will cause a lot of injuries. In his additional remarks, he added, I have witnessed how P2B goes about stating that the election outcome was influenced. I have also seen some of the pastors claim that the votes in the North are meaningless. He remarked, how can Ibi Yome or Yereko and Enenche say the votes in the North do not count? In addition, Asari Dokubo is a well-known in Nigerian in Nigerian Niger Delta region. He was once known as Melford Dokubo Goodhead Jr. He has participated in several political and social initiatives, particularly those that support the right of the Ijo people. Asari Dokubo appears to believe that some people organizations were active, striving or to prevent Tunumbu from winning the election based on his Facebook post. Without Additional context or information, it is challenging to determine the truthfulness of his allegations or the identities of the individual he is referring to. Well, a lot of them, um, should I say, a lot of things are happening now, most especially giving Asari Dokubo so much attention. I don't know why. Asari Dokubo is coming out every day. Almost on a daily basis. I think hardly any days goes by. Any day, I mean, goes by without him coming out to make statement. And sometimes the statement self go on. Sometimes it contradict himself. Now, he is saying that Marjorie did not was the one who acted against to be. Who instigated them? Because I'm... <laughs> no offense so <laughs> sincerely. <laughs> what I'm about to say no offense meant to be given. But the truth is that Marjorie and the not remain as Marjorie's because their leaders want them to remain as Marjorie's. See, in the not, what goes on, or should I say generally, the poor must remain poor for the rich to remain rich. If the poor remains rich, problem, don't they? Problem. In the not, if the, if the uh, Marjorie's become elevated they leave that status of amadjuries and become members of the society that are knowledgeable i tell you eh <laughs> they see the knots will no longer remain the knots the knots is the not today because the political or their political leaders or should i say both their religious leaders both their traditional leaders are hell-bent on keeping information knowledge away from these people so that they can stimulate them if you have someone who is indebted to you they make it feel as if they're indebted to them they have somebody who is indebted to to you you can manipulate that person you understand if you have somebody who will be saying they owe you if care is not taken if you are somebody who will be say if you owe a person you need a fee to do well the fee manipulates you except you to your own will you get strong will and you get principle. And they tell you. Who instigated them? Because for everything, just like if then one blame person will go kill person. Let's say for instance, there's an assassin. He was sent on a job and he did the job and he was caught. The police will also want to find out who sent that person. Abby. It is in the same case here. Who instigated those people that voted against or that went against to be? Because in the north, it is what you tell them than what they would do. 
the stories and tales of people who have been to the north and were able to stay there for more than six months, one year, they are not good stories. These people, called the political leaders, manipulate. And their object or tools of manipulation are religious leaders and traditional leaders, most especially religious leaders. They make it feel like the people are indebted to them. They give them peanuts, you know, when you have a lotion and somebody comes to give you three drops. What God's three drops does? Yeah, inside that three drops, say make gonna share one spoon of water or one bucket of water. Somebody has an ocean. And the ocean he has is actually the ocean that was supposed to be spread out for people. He holds the ocean and gives people daily one bucket of water. What do you think will happen? The people when they receive that bucket of water, ah you then go they talk ah oh this man a good man eh? this man too good this man, a better person. They don't know that the ocean is actually theirs. That is what's happening in the north. So, if Asali Dokuba is coming out to say the Almajiri is in the north, who gave them that idea? Who told them to go against Obi? You know, everybody coming out and saying, eh, Obi did this, he was religious, he was doing this. I say, you know, see the one with the, you know, see the one with the northern as do because northern has information. This our jet age never reached that place. The day, I keep saying, the day the northerners, I don't know the day, but I know it will come, because nothing lasts forever. The day they are going to stop manipulating the northerners. No, scratch that. The day they are going to be non legible. You know the south is not legible. Our leaders cannot come and tell us anything. The southerners will go and dig your past. They will dig it out. If you come outside and say something, two sec, give them one, 24 hours, even less than. They don't say you see this one. Then go, this is what it is fully to say they, they they are so knowledgeable. If the South, I mean if the North becomes as knowledgeable, if the knowledge that is being hoarded from them, they find it. Hmm. Ah you know what will happen? You see that thing will happen for Randa. It will be small because they will turn against their own people. Where they keep them in that bondage, or we don't keep them for that bondage since. So the answer should be who told the not? It is the religious leaders, it is the traditional leaders, and most especially their politicians, their political leaders that then come as I tell and say, Do like this, like this for this person. If not for such, then tell you say vote for this person. Sharp sharp. You go talk say why I go vote for him. You that you don't they challenge the person immediately. Why? Even in, in a group, even even if in a, in a group, in a family, you go see, if Pop Tech begins, say, hey, you see, you make it a vote for this person or this person is this. They go ask, why should I go? You, your children go ask you. In the north, they see it as disrespect. You don't brainwash these people. You're not permitted to talk. In the south, your children go ask you. Even your small, the small ones, so why should we vote for this person? What has the person done? Is the person, you go see that they ask you question. Is the person that, is he, is it com more competent than others? Then go challenge you. You go need to convince them. And if you're not convinced, then they go tell you that you know. <laughs> it's not possible. Knowledge is made scarce in the north so that they can do their political leaders' bidding. The day the north will become as knowledgeable or half as knowledgeable as the south. <laughs> you see all these things they are doing? These policies of drama, where they do, it go end. Because nobody will be there to take their beating. If you not if the northern political leaders can't talk, there are people go say, uh -huh, so and so. I'm telling you, no jokes. So it is not really distant. Funny contra contraction, we are thousand euro boys are now spokesperson. Make my leave Asari. This message now will drop. Now the face. Asari now. Is somebody me? I feel he is doing this so much to get attention so that they are going to give him contract, or they have already reached out to him. So, yeah, do this thing for us, and at the end of the day, you are going to get a contract. Any of it because all our political leaders, even the ones where they claim say they love us, then they claim say, Oh, we are the apple of their eyes, they are not to be trusted. Most of them they find their pockets. Yes. Before we go see the one we go come. Even if we even get the one we say go come outside and I can't tell us, yeah, I make no worry. 
saying they for us. We will need more than a pope to convince us because these politicians they don't use our eyes. See something. All right, Doku, but that is very true. Whenever I see or hear people saying Ubi Ubi, who is just popular in the southeast and the southeastern, I say, what will be magic to convince us? The Almagiris. <laughs> Why are you calling yourself the Almagiris? <laughs> I'm more right than ever that a man who has two refineries at the back here, which are not operational, but he does not ask why. That man has not asked. We are the new general dot, which for, which for which if not him, his people suffered. What man of a lover of his people? All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.